Hey guys, Andrew here with Great Lakes Sprouts Media. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to take your tree and prepare it for the winter time to keep it from getting hurt, diseased, and to survive over the winter time. Let's see how this thing turns out. So first thing we wanna do guys, look at this tree. We already see a little bit of damage down here. Looks like it's possibly some type of mouse coming up, chewing the phloem. That's where the sugars are on the outer stem. We're gonna go ahead and wrap this from the bottom up here. It's also gonna help with protecting um, in the winter time. You'll see sometimes the sun will hit the bark and it'll make the plant think, oh, it's warm out and cause it to start transferring water up and down the vascular system. And then all of a sudden a frost will come and it can actually cause the membrane to explode and fissure out. So this is also gonna prevent that from happening. Also from deer coming up to it and rubbing their antlers. We don't want that. We wanna go up to, you know, up to here where you start seeing a lot of branching where the deer can't really get their antlers in. We're also gonna cage this as well. It's gonna help a lot too, but um, yeah, let's see how, I'll show you guys how to wrap this now. Let's, see, let's get going. This is burlap. They make every, different types of wraps. You can find this at most horticulture stores or online. We'll start at this top branching here. Just gonna tie this around this way. Go around. I wanna get a good enough amount here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. Get a knife and her blade works too. Just use my hand pruners here. The sharp blade works as well. So here we go. We're gonna start from the top. Just start wrapping. Once we get around this stem here, it'll be a little easier. I wanna go tight though. If you got extra, go above it a couple times. We wanna remove this every single year and redo it. Before the winter time. We don't want this really too much in the hot summer time because it can get mold and pests behind it. This is just to protect it from the winter. Give it a better chance of survival here. This is a pear tree in my orchard here. I planted this about six months ago, early spring. I'm glad we're getting to this now. All right, we're getting there. Just gonna work my way back up, use the same stuff. You could use rope or twine to tie it. I'm just gonna show you a quick method if you got extra. Use her up. Let's go around this branch. Just tie her up right here. See, it's nice and tight on there. It's gonna protect the tree. No deer can rub up on it. So that's the first thing we wanna do. Second thing, we wanna put some mulch down. It's gonna help with fluctuation in the winter time. Prevent it from getting too cold or too hot too fast. Also from weeds and things like that and help moisture hold, hold them to the ground. We got some compost here. I explained before my videos, the bigger ring, the better. Less competition. Let's dump the mulch. Keep it away from the bark. You, know, you can make this look as nice as you want. You can add a little bit more mulch if you want. You got extra. 
This stuff's nice compost mulch. It's gonna help amend the soil too. Most importantly, protect the root system from the cold. Especially if you've got a young sapling, it doesn't have a really strong, deeply root system the first year. It's gonna help them get over this first winter. You wouldn't send your kid outside without a winter coat. Neither should you send your young sapling into the winter without a nice mulch coat. All right, guys. There we have it. There's a mulch ring. You know, we're not doing this for aesthetics. This is more for purpose of saving the tree. All right. Those are the two main things you want to do, guys. Most important thing to prepare for winter. All right, guys, so here's another tree we did. It's going to show you the fencing from I had before. I used some bamboo I had laying around. You can find metal stakes, pound them on the ground. You want to make sure nothing can get underneath or above. Let's go all the way around. Six foot fencing works real well. Make sure you're using a lot of extra support, extra stakes. This one fell out a little bit. You know, twine, zip ties work good too. You know, the more stuff you have to hold it, the better chance of it not getting crushed and deer and animals getting into it. But there you have it, guys. Most important things that you need to get your trees prepared for the winter time, fruit trees, ornamentals. Um, if you guys have any more questions, comment below. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Bye.